Hello everybody, this is Tim here again, here to do a trailer reaction for Terminator Dark Fate. It's been out for a while, about three days. This is my first time actually getting to see it. Uh, the trailer's getting some mixed reactions online. Also, the Terminator franchise as a whole has gotten a lot of mixed reactions since T2. They want this, to, for people who don't know, they want this to be the direct sequel of Terminator 1 and 2, to go from pretty much 1 to 2 to straight into this. They're uh, ignoring Terminator 3, 4, and the other reboot, Genesis. Terminator 3, uh, critics liked it, but uh, as a sequel to the first two, it's only passable. But for, if you take it for what it is, a movie that's not trying to duplicate James Cameron's style, it's a good blockbuster flick. Uh, Terminator Salvation is alright. It tries to be more serious. Uh, Terminator Genesis I thought was a great, uh, fun, just action Arnold flick. Um, this, I mean, if you compare them straight to just the first two Terminators, none of the other ones stack up. But if you take them for what they are, they're all enjoyable. This one, Terminator Dark Fate, I thought that it's a teaser. It's not an actual trailer. It's a teaser. I thought the teaser looked good, not great. It looked good. It's just kind of, it's just meant to get you interested. Some of the, the, the CGI looked bad in one shot, but, uh, you know, if you don't, if you don't know, the CGI will be fixed by the time the movie gets released. I mean, the CGI looked bad in some of the Genesis trailers, but by the time the movie got finished, CGI looked better for the most part. Here, it's just like any other movie, the CGI is not finished, and it'll be better by the time the actual movie is done. All in all, it's produced by James Cameron, directed by... Tim Miller, who did Deadpool, uh, with story input by James Cameron. You got Schwarzenegger here as like an old Terminator who's like living out in the middle of the woods or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to explain that. Maybe after the ending of T2, we find out there was actually like another Terminator Arnold model that was sent back in time as well to either kill him or protect him. And this, he might malfunction or something, and this is him like all these years later. Maybe something like that to explain it. Mackenzie Davis is in the trailer as like, an up, as like a human hybrid upgraded with a... Uh, robot technology in her body. I thought she looked fine in the trailer. The new villain, uh, this uh, new liquid metal type metal black Terminator who has the ability to split himself in the parts, uh, duplicate himself basically. The liquid metal becomes one person and the, the Terminator part becomes an, is another and they basically got two Terminators coming at you at once. That I thought was cool. Good idea for a new Terminator. The actual actor in terms of his acting though from what I've seen in the trailer, he looks good. He doesn't look great. Um, but uh, maybe they'll be able to use him better in the actual movie. I don't know. But yeah, all in all, this this looks like a good trailer. You get some uh, decent enough action. Uh, the scene where the, uh, his liquid comes off of him and goes through the window, uh, the windshield of the vehicle, and is on the hood before he throws like this rod at Mackenzie Davis. That CGI does look bad right there in that shot, but it'll be tweaked and fixed by the time the actual movie comes out. The acting looks fine. Uh, there's a big plane sequence at the end of the trailer. Which is really cool. I've heard some uh, people wondering, where's John Connor? Like, is he dead or whatever? No, James Cameron wouldn't kill off a beloved character like John Connor from his second film like that. That's why he hates Alien 3 for what it did to his beloved characters he created in Aliens. Uh, more than likely, they're just letting John set this one out. Because we've already had 3, 4, and 5 with John. So we've, we've been in John overkill for a while. And James Cameron has always seen Sarah as the main character of these movies. So he'll probably just let him set this one out so he can focus the whole movie on Sarah. But, um, yeah, John probably just, like, left some years after Terminator 2 because his mother was still worried about the apocalyptic future and he got over it and went off and got married and had kids. He might pop up at the end of it in, like, a cameo or something to set him up for the sequel to this if it does well. Uh, yeah, basically the plot, it doesn't give you any story details, but what I'm predicting for this is that the future was changed in Terminator 2, but because humans will eventually create AI, artificial intelligence, no matter what, there's going to be a, a new future where a new different form of AI, not Skynet, but something else, is going to send uh, Terminators back in time to destroy humanity. So no matter what, you basically just delay this inevitable, inevitable future because humans will keep going down this path of creating their own destruction no matter what because that's just how we are. Uh, so you're just basically delaying it no matter what. So yeah, all in all, the teaser looked good. It didn't look great. It didn't wow me. I'm a Terminator fan. I enjoyed the sequels past T2 for what they are. Um... All in all, it looked good. Uh, I need to see another trailer, though, for me to be really convinced. I'm going to be judging this one movie when it comes out a little bit more harshly, more serious than the other ones, because unlike the other ones, which I accepted for just what they are, this one is trying to be the true sequel to Terminator 1 and 2. So this movie has a lot to live up to. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again.